Hi, and welcome to another taster activity out of one of our kits. And today we're looking at Float My Boat. So this kit looks at density, floating, sinking, and even an activity called flinking. But we're not flinking today. Today we're having some floaty fun. So here's what you're going to need for today's experiment. A bowl of water, a variety of items. I've got some fruit here, kiwi fruit. I've got a tomato. I've got an egg, try not to roll it off the table. Um, I've got some Play-Doh, that's important. And I've got a metal spoon and a plastic spoon. Any variety of items will do. Just see what you've got around the house that will fit in your bowl. But the important thing is you need some Play-Doh or modeling clay or potentially blue tack. So the first thing we're going to do is predict which of these items might float and which might sink. What do you think? Let's start with a kiwi fruit, shall we? Is it going to float or is it going to sink? Let's have a look. The kiwi fruit sinks. Okay, what about a tomato? Do you know that a tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable? It's got seeds inside, so that means it's a fruit. So it's similar to the kiwi fruit in that sense. Do you think it will float or sink? Let's have a look. The tomato also sinks. What about an egg? Now this is a raw egg. You might like to try a hard boiled egg to compare. But what do you think would happen to a raw egg? Float or sink? Let's have a look. The raw egg, egg sinks as well. Wow. Okay, what about our spoons? Now they're roughly the same size, but they're made of different things. We have a plastic spoon and a metal spoon. Let's start with the plastic one. Do you think it will float or sink? Let's have a look. The plastic spoon sinks. Is that what you predicted? What about our metal spoon? Float or sink? It also sinks. So all our items we've tested so far have not floated. Now what about our Play-Doh? Float or sink? Let's have a look. Definitely sink straight to the bottom of our bowl. But, is there a way that we could make this Play-Doh float? What if we changed its shape? I'm thinking about boats. A lot of big ships that we see in the Tauranga Harbour are made of metal. Now the metal spoon we tried sinks, but metal boats float. How is that possible? Well, it's all down to the shape. So if we shape this Play-Doh, a little bit like a boat. Let's see if we can make it float like a ship. Now the key here is to make the area bigger and to allow it to displace some water. See what I've done here? I've made a hollow shape. Let's see if that floats. Look at that. So the same bit of Play-Doh that sunk before is now floating because I've made it into a boat. There you go. Why don't you try different items from around the house and see if they float or sink. Predict first and then have a go and see whether you were right. So for this next activity, we're going to build a boat out of aluminium foil. And why not have a competition with some other people in your house and see who can build the best boat? Now, what do we mean by best? The best boat is the boat that can hold the most weight. So I've got some washers here, which are out of this kit, and we're going to add washers until our boat sinks. And the person who can make the best boat is the person who can hold the most washers in their boat before it sinks. So make sure you all start with the same size aluminium foil. And 
you can shape it however you want. I'm going to strengthen mine by doubling it up a bit, making it into a nice bowl shape, just like we learned from our Play-Doh, as an effective boat. There we go. Let's see if it floats. Yep. And now I'm going to add some washes. So I'm going to start with five washes. And I'm pretty confident it'll still float with five washes in it. There we go. Yep. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're still floating with ten washes. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, uh oh, 18 washes and it sunk. So my boat floated with 17 washes, but not with 18. Can you do any better? Why not, why not have a go and have fun while you're doing it and learning all about density, floating and sinking. Have a good day.